Bonjour guys, welcome back to the FE Success Stories and I'm really grateful that you are taking time out of your day to tune in, to learn and to discover the success stories of our students. My commitment to you is to bring you guests that pass the FE exam to provide you with some tips and also help you learn the best way to pass your FE exam. And today's guest is going to exactly do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. My guest today is Isam. Uh, Isam, he graduated in 1995. His major was hydraulics engineering, and he recently took the FE Civil for the first time and he passed it. In today's video, he's going to share with us his FE experience and what he did to pass his FE. Isam, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Great. It's my pleasure. Okay, so Isam, you graduated in 1995. Like, tell us why did you decide to take the FE 26 years later? Okay, uh, it's uh, just a, a track, it's a life. So I was not in need at that time and uh, I was having uh, another track. So I didn't need the FE at the time and I didn't think about it, even if it, it exists or not. So, and then after when I get a job as in the city of Dubai as a civil engineer uh, in the infrastructure, at that time, I start seeing people having a uh, PE, having PN, uh, coming from everywhere in the world. They're having good stuff, a good uh, background. I said, uh, why not uh, me? Let me try. So, uh, I didn't want to take a risk to go for the FE. I just start the first, uh, uh, I look at some videos like this, some exercise. I said, let me try, can I do it or not? Maybe I'm obsolete now, I cannot do anything. <laughs> and I said, uh, yes, it's doable, I can do it. Uh, so I have just to concentrate and, uh, and to work for it. And uh, this is what I did. I started to build up slowly, slowly, slowly. And uh, in, during my track, I saw your channel and I start to, to watch out uh, your channel and I see so many stuff, so many good stuff. And the way that you explain is very easy, very, it takes your hand directly to the solution. Uh, it's not like a, a book which needs really, really to go back like 25 years back. Uh, and I said, let me go through the videos and it will help me to go faster and it's easier and straight to the point. This is what I like. And um, I finished, I uh, had an exam, in fact, uh, professional practice with, uh, with the Canadian Board of PEGA. I finished this one in, uh, in August, 2020. And after this, I said, let me jump in straight away to, the, to start the FE, start really studying for the FE. And at that time I purchased the morning uh, bite from you. Mm -hmm. I was I was having an idea, but I was not going deeply, and I was said let's go, and from that from uh, August when I finished uh, the first exam, I uh, let I said let me go for the, the FE now let me finish it off. So you've been studying for the FE exam since August 2020, and and then you took the exam on April, so that took you about eight months, right? Did you take yeah. any breaks during that time or did you like every day did you study? What was your schedule like? Same uh, what you said uh, in your pre in your videos, in your uh, tricks, you have to have a regular program. Like every day you have to work. After dinner, you go to the table, you start studying. Myself, what was the program? I said to myself, let's say I'll finish every topic in a week. This is my, my target. It was my target. So every topic, I try to finish it in a week. So I take around two hours after dinner. Sometime in the weekend, I take more. Sometime during the week, because I have uh, kids who are studying. And sometimes they have exams. They need to sleep early. So I have to make it short. Sometimes I feel really I'm not uncomfortable. So I do like 15 minutes, a half an hour. So it's not regular. We are human. We can. We are not robot. So I don't. For myself, I'm talking about myself. I cannot believe that somebody can keep a track for two hours, three hours per day for 
six months or three months or four months. It's, it's like impossible. For myself. But at least you have to stick on program and you have to work every day. And uh, this is it. I was doing this in a week. I, I remember uh, structure. There was so much things new for me. I have never learned before because it's a new code. It's not the code that I had in, a, in, my, in my school and it's new topics. So I was really lost. It, it took me four weeks, not two weeks <laughs> like uh, the, the previous. Dynamics was a bit also difficult, but dynamics, I said, it's only four questions. It's not that big. So, and you have it already in uh, morning bites. So it's really helpful. But construction, I was really, really struggling. I remember at that time, I, even I said, it's really difficult. I put it even in, uh, in uh, Facebook that it was difficult. And Pranita at that time uh, joined me and she said, how can I help and this? Uh, and uh, we spoke a bit. That's great. Okay, awesome. Well, we, we, I'm very happy that we helped. Okay, let's discuss now materials. So for the first part of the exam, you used the FE Bytes, which now we changed the name to FE Accelerator. So you took the FE Accelerator morning course. Now for the afternoon uh, topics, what did you use to prepare for those uh, material for those topics? Good. I remember uh, one time, uh, I was searching, I didn't find anything and I was not comfortable with Lidenburg because Lidenburg, I start with it uh, from math. And when I reached dynamic, I stuck. Uh, so I said, this one for the FE, it doesn't work. It's very long problems. It doesn't fit the FE. Mm. And at that time I said, Lidenburg, it's not my, it's not my baby. It cannot help me. Uh, it's really, it's taking too much of your time from your energy and it doesn't fit what you, you're looking for. It's good for concept, as I, I'm saying from my experience, I'm not talking about Lidenberg. He made a book, I'm not uh, in his level, <laughs> but I'm just taking, taking, uh, talking about uh, 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 is, is Lidenberg feet uh, what we need for the FE, for me, I can say a big no. It's really overwhelming, it's too much, it's uh, long, and it's not the type of uh, problem that is in the FE. We need to prepare for the exam. We, we are not here to study. Everybody studied, everybody knows, everybody in his life. So I'm not here to restudy again. So I need to prepare for the FE. This is what I feel. And when I reached dynamics, I said, no, it doesn't, doesn't work. I have to look for another material. And thanks God, I was having the Lidenberg at the time, electricity only. So it has still dynamic and then from dynamic, it go for something else. So you cannot study. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, I ordered the FE civil. I have it with me here, but even this one, I see it's too much, uh, it doesn't work. So I kept it just some time I read, but I don't do any problem on it. In, in between, you did one, uh, I think, workshop, and I, uh, and I attended the workshop. You were explaining about uh, some people who has succeeded, uh, I mean, passed the FE, what's the experience? And uh, you talk about uh, Natalian, I think I remember yeah. Natalian. Yeah, and then uh, you you said uh, you said about his his experience. He was like graduated, uh, I don't know, thirty years ago, or something like this. Yeah. And uh, you said about him that he was using only videos, and you mentioned in your video that uh, if you need some tricks and tips uh, for the videos, uh, I can send it to you. Just send me, drop me an email, and I will send it to you. And this is what I did. So I get more resources for the, for the afternoon. Uh, and this is what I did. That's it. I was doing only this, only videos from the, the, from the, the, the links that you have given me. 
And uh, when you launched the afternoon, I was already finished my study. I said, mm -hmm. I cannot uh, buy something and repeat again. It's really, it will overwhelm me. Even when I uh, start to prepare going, at, let's say in, um, uh, in a competition, we call this uh, the last uh, straight line. The last straight line is then when you finish and you go for the exam, the last straight line, I don't have time to redo all everything. I have to do straight away practice. So uh, it was only uh, videos. And uh, after that, it was practice exam. This is what I did. That's amazing. I do remember now. I do remember mm. seeing you in the chat uh, in the master class. Now that you mentioned it, I actually do remember that. And um, mm. yeah, and you mentioned you told us in the chat that you did graduate in 1995 as well. And then because Nathaniel graduated in 1989, I think, and then he, he just recently passed the FE exam when I did the master class, which was around August, which is when you started yeah. studying your FE. So it's all like now it's all kind exactly. of business. Yeah, and I sent you guys those links. Yeah. And then um, yeah. for the afternoon course, yeah, when I launched it. It, it like it didn't even have that many subjects at first so it would have not made sense for you to get it because I only had like mm. I think structural analysis and geotech um so it didn't it didn't mm. make sense and a couple of my students are actually like those who took the FE around like uh, March February March I actually told them not to take the course because it's not complete uh, but now we do have a lot of subjects so the only subject yeah. we have left is surveying construction and transportation but we we do now we we have a lot of material that can help but so you used those videos that i sent you and it's really interesting what i've noticed the way you study is you mostly try to use videos and i think and you did mention it because like the book when especially if you've been out of school for a while like when a book is solving a problem, you don't know what's going on. You don't know why they use a certain equation. You don't understand the steps fully. Like you don't have someone who's guiding you to like the thought process. Whereas when you watch someone explaining the problem is different than when you look at it in the book, because someone explaining yeah. it, they can walk you through every step. And then you start understanding the concepts and like yeah. why this equation we was used instead of this one. And it, it's definitely. Really yeah, and you and you grasp the concept better that way. So it's uh, I, I do actually do recommend like especially for the students who've been out of school for a while to really try to watch videos like and try to attempt the problems as well. But if if there's someone who can walk you to the solution, it's better than having a book because like you said, you're gonna feel overwhelmed and you might give up. And, and you can do this exam, like Islam really showed us that you can, like, you know, a lot of people can pass this exam. It's very impressive what you did. You've been out of school for a while and this is your first time taking it and you pass on your first try. So it, it's pretty amazing what you did. And I think if you just have the right mindset, the right discipline, yeah. Achieve it, and I think that's what really what I'm understanding from you a little bit so far is that you have that you have this mindset of like I can do this, like yeah, you don't of course, have yeah. no matter you know even if you've been out of school for a while, I feel like you don't no. really bring that up a lot. Like you didn't never. Like, no, it's, it's the like, opposite. Yeah, it's the opposite. I feel now more mature than I was in student, <laughs> yeah. and I feel. Also, what does it mean, feel much more mature? It means I have more personality. When I'm determined to something, you have to be determined yeah. and just to, to, to trace your route and you walk it. You don't miss. You don't say, no, I'm tired, I don't do, and then you give up. No, you have an uh, objective, you go for it. That's it. It takes a long time, longer. It's, it's no problem. It may take longer, even in your advice. You say it so many times to the people, try to push it one week, two weeks later, or three weeks, you will absorb the material better. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I take it later and I pass it rather than I rush and then, then I, I want to do a good, a good job. So, yeah. But you have to be confident in yourself, very mm -hmm. confident and determined uh, to, to go for it. 
Yeah. Uh, maybe also because I was I was um, a swimmer and uh, you know a competitive swimmer. You know when you are competitive, you don't compete uh, just to show off. You compete to win. So you have this spirit of uh, of winner. So it's same thing. The spirit of winner is a life. Is your personality. So even if you are studying, the spirit is to win. Is to achieve. So you have to have this spirit. Yeah. Just so this just mindset. To, where it's like yeah. you constantly like you're constantly looking for progress. Because I feel like that's when you when you're an athlete, you know, like you're trying to do better and better than yesterday and you just keep moving forward. Exactly. And exactly. And you, you don't focus on the time. You don't focus like, you know, when am I gonna get there? You just keep focusing on the progress. You have a plan, you keep focusing exactly. on the plan, right? So yep. and that's why you didn't really try to rush it. And I think that's why you really took the time to learn the material. And then when you felt ready, you took the exam, which is yeah. really important because a lot of students, they just, just want to get it done or get it over with, or just, they just want to rush it. And I, I don't think that's the right approach. I think you got to no. have a plan, focus on the plan and just keep working at it. And then one day everything will start to click and then everything will start to make sense. And then you're going to feel yeah. ready. Yeah. I yeah. think that's really how it works. So were you, because your situation is slightly different because you live in Dubai and you had to travel all the way to Washington, D.C. to take the exam. Were you, was there any pressure on you that you had to pass this exam? And if there was any kind of pressure, how did you manage it? You know what I mean? I mean, you took a whole- Of course. You, you know, you booked a hotel. This is all cost. You know, you're staying in a hotel and, you know, it's a lot of time. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of money. So- you know, that must have put a little, some kind of pressure on you that you kind of had to pass, you know, this time. <laughs> How did you manage that? Is like to be or not to be. Do you want to be licensed engineer or not? This is the only way to go. This is the, this is the only way. So uh, I don't, there is, even there was another option. If I didn't pass, I have to redo it again. So it's another pressure. So it was an option that I cannot pass. Even I, I prepared, I did best what I can. I put all the effort and all the, the concentration and, uh, and especially the days before the exam, I did everything uh, for, for the exam. Uh, uh, the pressure, I was not thinking about the pressure at all because I had too much pressure in my life, more than that. But uh, uh, the thing is, is uh, just uh, the cost. The money is too much, yeah, like you said. You spend a lot. But is it worth? Yes, it is. I hope. I didn't see yet the result. But when I finish my license, I'm almost there. Uh, when I finish, I hope I, I will see the, the benefits. And all of the people who have been licensed, they are saying, don't worry, when you get licensed, you will see it's another, it's another opportunity that will, that will open for you. And um, uh, so people don't have to think, like you said, about the pressure. I was having even more pressure than what you're saying, is I have to travel, and uh, the cost of the hotel. I stayed 15 days in a hotel. I, I, you know, I, I screw up all my kids' vacation, winter vacation. They didn't have vacation this, uh, this time, this, vac this spring. At least we used to do some activities. We go out something, but this vacation, they did, we didn't do anything. I promised them we do something in the in summer. So they're still waiting. They, see, they said, okay, we'll see. <laughs> what you are going to, to do for us. <laughs> so, yeah, like you said, it's really stressful, but you don't have to think about it. Just go, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I think you had like a goal and you like, you give it your all. And what I also noticed is that like, you, you don't make excuses. Like, no, no excuses. Like, just, just do it. Just show up, study, learn, do, do the best you can. And then, and That's then it. give it all, your all. And, it, and just keep going, like keep moving forward, keep looking forward, don't look back. 
and and then you know huh. go in to the exam and just you know do the best you can and i really really like the no excuses i actually even took note yeah because i yeah. think you know a lot of people they would start you know making all these excuses and a lot of times sometimes you just like limited beliefs right they just limiting beliefs they have you know about like oh well i can't get a job without the fe or i have a lot of students who are working without the fe right or you know they create all this kind of stress that like is it really like is it facts or are these things you know you kind of just making up in your mind just so, so that you make all these excuses and it's like kind of like moving you like pushing you backwards and not forward to proceed with with your FE preparation so it's like I had the, this like uh, conversation with the student where I was like just put all facts just like exactly facts exactly what's happening to your life is it really you can't find a job with the, without the FE like have you actually looked because a lot of students like when they have this kind of like pressure of like I have to pass this exam to get the job or I have to pass this exam to keep my job, you know, and in this kind of pressure can really affect a lot of people. Can yeah, I will I will tell you about that. Yeah, finish. I will tell you about it yeah, because so, uh, yeah. I'm coaching also my kids about that yeah. uh, because they are in the high school and it's really stressful and they need the grades now. So sometimes they are focused more on the grades rather on mm -hmm. learning, which is wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You don't focus on passing or on the job or on what. You have a goal, you focus on learning mm -hmm. and on doing efficient and fast. Like yeah. you said in your videos, when you know the concept, now you have to work your speed. So you have to focus on doing the exercise, the problem efficiently, efficient uh, with the most efficiency and fast this is what you this is your job the mark is not you the pass or not it's not you it's the other party you cannot control so do your part and let the other people do their part so even i'm saying to my kids please don't focus on the marks focus on the problem itself solve the problem finish the problem when you solve the problem entirely and uh, with the best of what you can you did your job so that's it yeah it's simple as that yeah no that's a really great point you know actually you know, when i was going to college i was at first because i i was actually so i graduated high school from morocco i'm actually i was raised and born in morocco and then i came to the states for my uh, bachelor's degree and my first Good. year i was so focused on the grades that i i was like it, it distracts me from even learning and i was just yeah, like exactly. I was, so focused on memorization than actually understanding the concepts and, yep. and i was just like like almost forcing it right like forcing those grades and and you know what happened like every semester like i did worse and worse the more i was focused on the grades the worse i did and then hmm. you know and then i actually took some time off from from school I took a year off. Uh, I had this job opportunity and I took it and I was like, this is a good time for me to just kind of like take some time off and regroup when I came back because I had the chance to work one year in this construction job. It, it was it was big construction uh, uh, projects and and it, it was really interesting because it gave me a different perspective. Like now when I came back, it was like, oh, I don't care about the grades. The grades doesn't say anything if I don't understand the concept. I could get A and not understand any of this stuff. I'm going to actually yep. focus on learning. And as soon as I started focusing on just like really learning engineering and understanding it, like that's it. The grades just follow. Like I didn't even focus on the grades and they just follow. Like like I started exactly. getting like straight A's. It, it was yeah. very like it's such a, like a game changer. And I always tell exactly. this to my students. Focus on learning. This is an opportunity for you to learn engineering. Take it and learn engineering so that you can be a better engineer and proceed and excel in your career. So really great point. Thank you for sharing that with us. Um, Welcome. Yeah. Okay. Now let's dive into the day of the exam. This is uh, the last part we're going to discuss here. How were you feeling during the exam? You know, during the exam, of course, I woke up very early as usual. I wake up like 
between four and five or in the morning all the time. This is my life. <laughs> so I did the same thing. And uh, you cannot be not stressed. I will be frank with you. I couldn't eat anything. I was calm, but I couldn't eat. There is like a internal stress. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. show, but it is. It's good. It's not stress because I'm scared of the exam. It's just stress. It's good stress. It's a motivation. Yeah. Because even in competition, I all, all the time compare myself because it's all one unit. In competition, you before the competition, you have some stress. But it's a good stress because you feel like you're determined to, to do good, mm -hmm. to, to do your best. So it's a good stress. You try to, 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 do, to, pause, to make it positive, this stress. Mm -hmm. It's not... A, and I was really, uh, I mean, I was not expecting that. They said, you, don't, you cannot take the water with you to the room, mm. exam room. Yeah. So the problem, you know, when you study, this is even proven scientifically. You have to drink water, even in the practice, uh, physical practice, you have to drink water every 10 minutes. If yeah. you don't drink water every 10 minutes, you start losing uh, energy. For the first, uh, for the first um, part of the, the morning, let's say the morning, uh, it was okay, more or less, uh, you have energy, you slept and all that, you have energy. But the afternoon, I really felt it. And I was obliged even mm. to take like, a, after the break, I take another like short break to go just to drink and come back. Wow. Yeah, because yeah. you start being tired. Yeah. You start losing some focus. Yeah. And you feel, you feel even, you know, I was having a big headache when I finished the exam. Oh. So afternoon, I start feeling the headache. So this is, you start being tired because you're focusing for six hours and doing exist, I mean, problems fast, one after one, one after one and come back and see sometime you remember something, you go back to the other question. So it's really stressful. But yeah. I, uh, so this is the thing, water, you have to manage. It yeah. is one of the challenges. Another thing uh, in the exam, uh, you try to go to do it fast in the morning because the morning is easier than the afternoon. It's, it's everything is easy. Everything is easy. I'm telling you all to all the students. If you studied, you prepare yourself, all the concepts, you know them, you know all the concept. Nothing is difficult. Construction, transportation, I don't know, geotech, dynamic, everything is easy. But can you do it fast? This is the, this is the, the deal. So if you can do the morning, you finish it off at, as fast as possible, is good. If you take too much time, is is really problematic for the afternoon because the, the afternoon usually is a bit longer and you are tired mm. this is yeah. the thing even if you don't feel it you are tired this is one thing and at the end uh, when you enter the exam they give you a tutorial eight minutes to read mm. it's an advice from me take the eight minutes you don't need any minutes you don't need even one second to do the tutorial but take eight minutes why I'm asking that? Because this one, it helps you to cool down yeah. your stress. Yeah. And just you, you feel yourself, you're in a seat, you're there, you're going for the exam. It yeah. helps you to cool down. Yeah. Take a deep breath, you know, just get yeah, ready. Take exactly. A, just take a deep breath, let it all out. Because you go in there, you feel mm. nervous, you're shaking, like... You're getting anxious, yeah. you know? Exactly, you yeah. Took the, take those eight minutes, you know, relax. Take eight minutes. Yeah. I read it two times just to take the eight minutes. <laughs> I read it myself. I read it two, <laughs> just to take the eight minutes. I knew that I have to take eight minutes. Yeah. And even with that, I was a bit anxious. Yeah. The first question, the first question about uh, about intersection and li line intersection, mm -hmm. and they give why divide by three is equal something and you have to find the why the why by three is not for the why and i was searching for the why 
and I don't, I don't find the answer. It's not this, it's not this. I took almost five minutes. Wow. The first question. I said, it's impossible. It's an easy question. I cannot do it. I said, okay, let me guess I'll pass because I cannot stay more than five minutes. It's, it's too much. I'm, if I stay like this, I'm, I'm not good. And then the second one, the third one, fourth one, it's okay, it's okay. So when I reach, I remember the eighth or the ninth one, it, it tricks came to me Yeah. for the first question. Was... What they were saying. And then it came back. Why a trick became? Because I was more, more down in the exam. That's it. Now, I do want to ask you, how many hours did you spend on the first half versus the second half? Yeah, good. Uh, first of all, when I start the exam, I had 58 questions, the first half. 58 questions, it means including survey. Hmm. And then the second, uh, the second part, it was 52. So 58, I target in my mind, two hour and a half, not more than that. If I can do less than that, it's okay. But I don't have to do more than that. It was a target, just the target. I couldn't do it in two hour, 30 minutes. I passed it, but I didn't stress. I said, since I'm doing, I'm confident with the answer, I'll finish. I was not that far. I finished in two hours, 40 minutes. Okay. Good. I finished in two hours, 40 minutes. It was limit. And during my break, I was talking to myself. I said, I finished 58 questions, which is more than a half. Mm. Two hours, 40 minutes. So it, it remains 52 questions for the same time. Mm. So I didn't lose. I'm still having time. So I was talking, I'm briefing myself for the second half, what I, what I have to do. So you have to be in continuous discussion with yourself. Yeah. yeah. To motivate yourself. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and this is it. And then uh, w for the second half, when I started, I didn't take the, tw the full 20 minutes. I feel uh, I want to go for it. Uh, it took maybe 15 minutes, something like this. I didn't took the full uh, 25 minutes break. And when I started like uh, 15 questions like this, I feel like I started to be not comfortable. Mm. I asked the proctor, I want to go out. He said, okay. I went out, I just drink water. And it came back faster, mm. running. And you know, when you run, so it's another... Not the tip, and anyway, it's myself. When you run, you accelerate the blood uh, circulation. Mm -hmm. When you accelerate the blood circulation, it, uh, you, it, it accelerates the blood circulation in the brain. Mm -hmm. So you, I remember when I was in Canada, I was doing my MBA there, and one teacher gave us an advice. They said, she said, uh, when you feel yourself stacked, you want to study, you cannot study. You want to study, you cannot study. You feel yourself like overwhelmed, you cannot, you're stuck. Just take your bike and go for, for, for biking. 40 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever, and just come back. And you see the difference after. So for me, it was two things. Just running a bit. I was feeling myself like showing myself like I was in a hurry to do something. But in my mind, I was having another thing. <laughs> I drink water, I came back also running and uh, I finish it. But I told you it was not that easy. I need water, but mm. I, I don't have water. And um, the some time I stuck because lack of concentration, lack of focus. I start losing focus, not like in the morning. Yeah. And uh, but it takes time. This is it. It takes more time to focus. Sometimes you lose your mind, and you come back like it's a wave, you know. Yeah. And. Uh, and I see when I reached five minutes left, I was almost like 10 questions left. Mm -hmm. 10 questions is too much. If I take one question to think about it, the time will be over. So I said, let me guess straight away. I, I said, I'll guess 10 questions, 11 questions, whatever, better than to do one question correct. Mm, that's smart. So, so, so I manage it. How did you feel after you took the, after you were done with the exam? Did you, were you feeling confident about the exam? Yeah, yeah. You did okay. I, I feel confident. 
I didn't stress, I feel confident because I was really solving and I see that I did a very good practice exam and I was uh, almost reaching the 90s. So it's not that bad, but what uh, I feel there was so much question in environmental. I didn't expect mm -hmm. that, too much. Okay. Even it's my piece of cake, I didn't expect all these uh, questions. Yeah, no, I agree. And uh, by and by the way, guys, like I have actually completed environmental. So check out the course for the afternoon. I have structural geotech, environmental. We have water resources, hydrology, hydraulics. But uh, I want to go back to that point. So uh, I agree. So if you actually take a look at, so yesterday I was looking at a diagnostic report of a student and we actually were going over it during the meetups with our students yesterday, last night. And, you know, I, I noticed that because the new FE exam, they just recently changed it, but like structural engineering, geotechnical engineering, water resources and environmental and transportation, you get like 30, 10 questions on each of those topics. So you get 40 on those. That is 40 points you could get. Like, if you understand those topics really well and you do well, that gives you 40 already, but they're huge topics. So don't take them lightly. Make sure you dive in, make sure you know them really well because they're huge, huge portion of the exam and you don't want to miss that. Um, mm. So yeah, so yeah, they're, they're increasing now these, the topics in the afternoon, they're increasing those numbers higher. So you get actually 10 questions on each of those topics. So very important to understand those materials. Okay, so uh, Isam, uh, this has been such a great interview. I really enjoyed talking to you. You have shared some really okay. great tips. Uh, I have one more question for you. Do you have any closing okay. remarks for engineers who are trying to pass the FE exam? I don't have uh, anything. It uh, depends on the person himself on, uh, on his determination. Uh, I just encourage everyone who who really uh, see that uh, he needs the FE and he want to go for it, just go for it. That's it. You don't have to be on a side and you, you say, I want an FE. If you want to go for FE, you have to put your hand and scoop water. That's it. And scoop water takes time, yeah. It takes time. It's not... It's not uh, it's not a juice. You drink it and, and now you, you don't feel thirsty anymore. No, it takes time. It may take you three months, four months, five months, some people one year. It depends on you on what you have. Uh, some people, they start uh, studying and they have some circumstances. They stop and they come back. It's okay. But don't give up. You have to come back. That's it. You have to keep uh, focused that you didn't finish your mission and you come back and you do it. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you for taking Welcome. the time and for us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Isam. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for being part of Engineer Community. Now, if there's anything that resonated with you in this interview, make sure to share with us on Facebook, Instagram, or you can just leave it in the comments below. Now, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Make sure that you guys subscribe for new videos every week. Good luck with your studying and I will see you soon. A la prochaine. Everybody laugh.